Hi, hey, and hello, everybody. Welcome back to episode seven of the Hardcore Let's Play. Today, as I said in the previous episode, we are definitely going to be doing something with these, but, um, hi, hi, how are you doing? Um, I'm not sure you're supposed to be here. Okay, thank you for that. Free golden sword, awesome. Anywho, as we discovered in the last episode, we have <laughs> a lot of bees. So I need to build myself probably just a little bee emporium somewhere i'm thinking closer to the base just so it's not so disconnected over here but we definitely don't have a shortage of bees and i really don't i still i still don't understand how there are so many like i didn't breed any of these guys i haven't touched the bees yet i am going to need to get myself a whole bunch of honeycomb to get those beehives ready to go in there i don't have any campfires on me at the moment but i think i could quickly craft a few up and get myself some shears and get that honeycomb rock and rolling all right, so campfires in hand. I'm just going to put these right down here, and hopefully that means a bee will not just sit in that fire and take a lot of damage. But there we go. We've got ourselves a bit of honeycomb. We're going to head over to this hive and see if we can get a little bit more. And then we'll, we may as well make a start on making that little bee emporium. And I think I have an idea. I did do a little bit of testing in another creative world. I've got the shape sorted. I just need to do a lot of detailing. And I think it'll actually start to look really good once it's done. So I'm going to go ahead, get a few materials for that, and I'll meet you guys once I'm ready. One of the main ingredients for today's build is indeed glass. So I did just get a bunch of sand. and I'm going to put that in this super smelter and get that smelted up really Really quickly and hopefully that'll actually just be enough to get us through um, I say ingredients as if this is just like some baking thing that we're doing but it is a build I'm not baking anything in Minecraft I don't think that's I mean it is technically possible but I, I'm not doing that but before I get to building this thing I wanted to quickly just go ahead and pop a few big spruce trees around here just to, so we can get a bit of pod soil on the ground I think that's gonna look amazing in this build uh, just because we need a little bit of texturing on the ground we're not going to have a proper floor in there. So I'm just going to add a few spruce trees just in this area because I think this is where I'll build. And then we'll see how the floor turns out. This is it. This is what I was looking for. This pod sole on the ground is looking fantastic. I am going to have to get rid of these trees though just so we can build. It will provide us with a lot more wood, which is actually a pretty good bonus. So I'm going to get ahead to chopping all these down and I'll catch you on the other side. All right, guys, I'm back. I've managed to mine all those trees up and the leaves are just about disappeared. I also went ahead, collected that glass from the super smelter and the iron and gold that was in there as well. So as you can see, I did get a lot of wood from that. It's a bit crazy, actually. I'm definitely not going to need this much wood for this build, that's for sure. But the idea behind this build is something really quite simple. I just want to have it nice and open so the bees can go in and out, but also have it look quite nice. I, I think having an overgrown look is going to be perfect just because bees kind of associate that with nature and having an overgrown build is just like it's like nature's taken control of the wheel there so the idea is i'll probably just have like a, a five wide kind of thing going on here just with the three in the middle just so the bees can get out and then i'll do a circular style of this obviously i'll just move this back a bit so there's a bit more space for me to work on the other side but yeah so it, we're practically there's going to be a three wide doorway every side of the circle so there'll be four always probably get a couple planks to help me illustrate this a bit better but i'll go out like this kind of kind of like this so that'll be pretty much the size of it i'll just keep extending this all the way around so we can get a better look at how it will probably turn out that's going to be pretty much the size of it on the ground but where the glass is going to come in here i'm planning on doing a dome at the top i think that's going to look super super cool so i'm going to put a dome at the top of this i'll probably do it with some white stained glass just because I've been using white stained glass throughout the world and I think it's actually going to look better as white stained glass in a dome. So this is the shape. I'll probably just make this six tall and then we can bring everything else up to this height. So there we go. That's going to be pretty much the height of it. Now that I'm looking at it, I think I might just go around and change the base to stripped spruce just to give it a little bit more uh, supporty look at the bottom. Yeah, that looks a, a million times better just with that little supportive layer at the bottom. Obviously, 
obviously this isn't going to be it. I, I think I might just add a bit more support around here just to make it look a little bit less of a straight wall up because that is a bit boring. I'm going to bring in some dark oak accents to help with this spruce just to add a little bit more structural support. And then a deep slate ring around the top so we can get that dome started. I think it's going to be a pretty easy build, probably minus the dome. The dome is probably going to be a bit tricky for me. I'm not the best at domes, but going to give it a red hot crack for sure. So I've got most of what I think I will need for this build, but I also wanted to just mention that I did do a little bit more off-camera mining and I did enchant the chest plate that we had and I got really good enchant. So I had the protection four, that's all I could see, but I got that and I got thorns two and unbreaking three with that as well. So I'm really happy with that enchant. I also went mining and I got a whole lot of diamonds. We had a much more successful mining trip this time. Very happy with that. So now we've got a bit more to spare. Can probably make a few more pickaxes and see if I can't get silk touch or fortune three on them. I also combined two of my pickaxes. So I combined the work pickaxe that I was using and the fortune two pickaxe. So now I have an efficiency five fortune two and unbreaking three pickaxe. And that's what I was using to mine. So that's already down to half durability, but it was full. So I did do a lot of mining and I got 40 diamonds off it using that fortune, but it was very useful to have that, I must say. So getting back to the build, I did grab myself the stone cutter just so I could get these deep slate tiles going. Uh, I'm going to get a bunch of the slabs here. I might actually make a little barrel just to store some of these. All right. So I do have a bunch of dark oak to help with the structural support. I think having these stairs down the bottom will actually add a really good looking support just there. I'll do that, copy that all the way around. This is going to be a very symmetrical build, but I think in the end it will turn out pretty nice. Uh, I need to pillar up there and get up to the top. So I wanted to just go ahead and add a bit of a, a stair on each of these, just facing outwards, just to kind of show that it's going to be supporting a layer above it. And I think this is going to look absolutely amazing once I've got the, the actual deep slate stuff on top. But um, for now, I'm going to go around, add these stairs just to get an idea of how wide this is going to be at the top. All right, so I've added in some structural arches here just with this dark oak, and I think that's making the build look a lot more rounded up at the top there. I haven't added the deep slate on top, but I think it's going to make it the dark oak look a little more connected to the build because those really thin trap doors there are just, they just need a little bit more depth to it. So I'm going to go ahead make up a bunch of tiles and stairs. All right, so I've opted to do just a thin layer of calcite here just to kind of line where I'm going to put the glass. I think it's going to be a nice little accent to have, especially on the outside. I want to make sure that it's just kind of the right dimensions though. That's the only struggle I'm having. Uh, I think we're just going to try and do a bit of a dome of this size. It's not going to be a perfect circle, I don't think. I haven't really planned this one out before, but I think if we do one just like that and do a dome, around on top of this calcite that is going to look fantastic but on the outside since we can't really just have that calcite raw like that it's uh we're gonna add a bit of detailing so what i'm gonna start off by doing is just experimenting with a bit of a few framing techniques so i think maybe if i frame it like this and then do a couple slabs a couple slabs at the bottom just to transition from that dark oak into the deep slate and then into the calcite i think is going to be a nice subtle accent and then if i just top this off with a slab like so maybe all the way around but that might just look a little too square so i was thinking of perhaps just doing stairs deep slate tiled stairs like this just so we get that same kind of level of the slabs at the front but then it also goes up one more and it looks as if it gives a little bit more support and adds a bit more detail. And I think that will actually look a bit better. So I think I'm going to leave that like that because that looks pretty good in my opinion. I'm going to copy that all the way around and then add a little bit more support around the sides as well. Great. So now that's done. I'm going to hop down and see what that looks like from the ground. And then I'll probably have to head to sleep just so we can avoid these monsters running around. But yes, I am liking the look of that. It's adding a little bit of depth of those walls and you can still see a bit of the calcite from the outside, which is fantastic. I think I might add a light source in there somewhere just so you can see a bit more at night. So maybe if I put like a shroom light or if I get sea lanterns, I could put that in there, but that'll look really cool. And then, yeah, and then I put the dome on top and it'll be basically complete. But for now I need to go and sleep just to get rid of the, the threat of those monsters. All right, it is a bright new day. We have have a whole sort of mobs around here. We've got spies, we've got a zombie pigman. I don't even know why he's here. We've got ender, but I, I, 
I don't want to look at that guy. I'm scared of Enderman. I just, I don't want to avoid them as much as possible. I'm going to get on top here and see if we can't start on the dome. So this dome is going to be probably the hardest part of this build. But to start off, I'm just going to do a bit of a ring around on top of this calcite. Just because that's where I'm going to start with the dome. I'm completely winging this, by the way. I don't have any reference images for a dome. <laughs> this will be my first time building a dome properly. I think I might have a vague idea of what I need to do. So I'm just going to build this whole thing up just by two blocks as a starting point just so we can get a little bit of height with this dome i don't want it to be too sunk down into the deep slate so i'm gonna start off by doing this and then just how i do it on my towers i'm gonna just raise it up on each side a little bit and then join it together around the outside just like i did over there with the little supports so i'm gonna go ahead and go around and just do a little bit of a rise in the middle here and since you guys probably don't want to hear me talk through all this i will just cut to the end once i've finished and we'll see how it turns out hello welcome back i think i've finished it i think it looks pretty good i i I'll give you guys a little bit of a look and I'll let you guys decide if you think it's any good or not Can't really see too well from on top, but I'll hop down and we'll just see it from a distance And I think it'll look absolutely fantastic So if I go over here and maybe just go up a little bit and turn around. Oh, yeah Oh, yeah, that is looking well as round as you can get with blocks in Minecraft I think that looks fantastic on top of that deep slate in that calcite with those those wooden supports Yeah, this is looking amazing amazing wow okay that turned out a lot better than i thought it would i'm really happy with that i want to do something with this inside bit though those hanging bits of calcite gonna get a little bit annoying i might just go around and chuck a few bits of stairs like that just to show that it's kind of supported yeah i think that'll do but i'm really happy with how this has turned out yeah i love that dome awesome okay so the build is pretty much complete i just need to go ahead and add a lot more details and then add the bees in so i'm gonna go ahead make this look a lot more overgrown than it currently is make it look a little bit less neat add a few details and hopefully if i can i'll find some lights for this but i might need to go to the nether for that so if I do, I'll get you guys to come with me because the nether is a scary place and I need someone there as a support. Yeah, I'll get I'll get to making this looking overgrown and I'll catch you guys on the other side. All right, so I'm pretty confident that I have done most of the decorating there, but I am lacking in the flower department. So I am going to need to go and grab a couple of flowers. I can see some peonies over here. I'm going to go grab those. If I find some lilacs, that'll be fantastic. I think it'll just fit the color scheme of the place as well. I'll also like some double tall flowers just to kind of help with breeding the bees up if i need to as well but something tells me i might not even need to do that just because of the sheer amount of them over there so we'll see currently i'm out hunting for skeletons because i have completely run out of bones and bone meal will be super important for this build so i'm gonna see if i can get as many skeletons as i can and get their bones so i'm kind of exploding more creepers than i'm killing over there so i thought maybe it would be a good idea to just step back for a bit heal up assess what i have achieved so far i've only got myself four bones from all of that but okay well since we are pretty close to this i think it is probably a good time to show you guys what's happening over here um, so I've just added a bunch of vines and leaves. Actually, I'll just grab another vine here and just throw that one around on this side just so we can add a little bit more detail on this side because that's looking a little plain now that I think about it. But yeah, I just added a whole bunch of leaves dribbling down like that. Uh, a lot of bamboo around the place to make this place look a little bit spicier. Got some azalea bushes, some berry bushes. I don't have any flowers except for these ones. So I've just added a couple of those around the place along with some tall grass and that is going to have to do for now but i do have some glowing berries hanging down from the ceiling and i once those ones grow out i'll go around with some bone meal get some more light in this room and i've also got the spore blossom in here which is actually my, my favorite addition to this it's added all these particles and it's made this place look a whole lot more magical and of course we are still missing the main ingredient in this build and that is going to be the bees so i'm going to need to get a whole bunch more honeycomb just to make up those beehives and then i'm going to have to transport those guys over here but once that's all done i think this is going to be an absolutely fantastic build so i'm going to see if i can get that done pretty much asap actually so i'm going to get to killing these guys hopefully getting more bones for that for those glow berries oh, and there goes my shield okay i've got to be pretty careful here but yeah i'll get back to you guys once that's all sorted so classic me fashion i managed to get every single campfire in flawlessly except for one i was trying to place that one there but uh, i was standing inside the peony 
So, uh, we now have one there. Uh, it's not the most ideal of positions, I must say. Since we do have that Silk Touch Axe, we can just break that and pop that down. I kind of forgot about the axe and I wasn't really expecting that to drop some charcoal, but... Hey, that's a bonus. Um, I do have some moss carpet to put over these, just so the bees don't get stuck in there and die. I've had that happen way too much. And also, this mossy carpet will fit in really well with the build. I'm going to need to get a little bit more. But now that is sorted, I do have rehives that I can make. So I need to actually get the planks for that first. What am I doing? Bam, three beehives have been made. I'll plot these guys right here like this. And I'll just do a whole bunch of those just in a circle around like so. But just so I, they kind of look like they're being supported a bit, I'm going to put some dark oak fences on top just to make it look a little bit more incorporated into the build. And I think that's going to look fantastic. So now with these hives in place, I think we should probably go grab some bees to come and live in these. So I'm going to head over to this area and drag some over my way. It looks as though the numbers have kind of dispersed a bit. There's a lot just all over the world. Like we've got a couple just floating over there for some reason. And I did manage to get a good number and I'm going to drag these guys over to their new home and hopefully they will like it. And they're all popping into their new homes. Oh, that is fantastic. Okay. Welcome home, guys. Please make me some more honeycomb so I can get this place rock and rolling with some more of you guys. But this is looking fantastic so far. I'm going to put a couple of these cornflowers just around the place to add a bit of blue. And wowie. Okay, I'm loving this already. <laughs> the bees just add a lot more depth to the build and I think it looks fantastic. Oh man. Okay. I would gladly say that this build is pretty much done. I need to get those, those glowberry vines going. But once those have grown down a bit, I can spruce those up with some glowberries and this is going to look absolutely beautiful in here. What better way to figure out how this looks than to put this into shaders? I'm going to turn shaders on and see how it looks. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, perfect. Especially with that sun going down. Oh, that's amazing. Yes, I love the look of this. This is awesome. Okay, get all the angles around the outside. Oh, awesome. Get that sunset in there. Oh, what a view. Then I'm going to come in here and get a nice little shot of the unfinished build. But let's get an interior shot here. Awesome. That is so cool. Okay, since um, my computer probably doesn't appreciate me playing in shaders, I'm just going to turn those guys off and... We can appreciate it just in vanilla graphics. I think it's awesome how good this looks. Gonna move everything back into my house though. So I will be back once that's all sorted out. All right, guys. So everything's sorted back into the chest. And I think everything is going very, very well right now. So I'm going to go ahead, grab these diamonds, grab this diamond helmet and grab a few bits of lapis as well because I'm going to craft a few more tools that I would like to enchant. So I'm going to get another pickaxe. I want to see if I can get Silk Touch or Fork Fortune 3 on that. I'll see if I get a really good enchantment on that helmet. I'm going to grab some more boots because I don't really want to just have Depth Strider if that's what I have. Yeah, I, I just have Depth Strider right now. If I could get like an Unbreaking 3 or also a Protection on that, that would be fantastic. I've also got this sword that I started started to use that would be really good if it could get a good enchant. I think it's currently got Unbreaking 3 on it right now, so I might not want to go for that one just yet, but I'm going to go look at these guys. So we've got Protection 3 on the boots, which could be potentially pretty good. Fire Protection 3 on the helmet, I don't know if I want that. And Unbreaking 3 on the pickaxe, as well as an Unbreaking 3 on that Diamond Sword. So I think I, I might go for Protection 3 on the boots and hope that we get something else with that, because obviously uh, we've already got Depth Strider, so... If we just combine Depth Strider with Protection 3, those are going to be some decent boots anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and get Protection 3 on these boots and see what happens. Unbreaking 3 as well. Okay, so that's pretty much perfectly what we were looking for. We're just going to combine those, get Depth Strider 3 on those boots, and it will be fantastic. Uh, what else have we got in here? Okay, so we've got Smite 4 on the sword now. We've got Unbreaking 3 on the pickaxe still. And Respiration 3 on the helmet. So I'm definitely going to get that helmet next. I'd love to have Respiration on that helmet. Be able to breathe underwater with those Depth Strider boots. That is going to be absolutely perfect. We're going to be able to glide through the water like a dolphin. I'm going to see if I can get myself to level 28, get that helmet, and then maybe we can combine both the boots. And then we can actually set ourselves up and wear that full set of diamond armor for the first time 
in this world. So just coming back over to the zombie spawner, I've just broken all the torches and I'm going to see if I can just kill a bunch of these guys and get to level 30 from that. Okay, awesome. So I've managed to get most of the way to level 30 just from that spawner, but now it looks as though it has turned to night. So I could definitely just go wander back towards the village, find some monsters and kill them just on the way. And hopefully that'll get us to level 30. It is ridiculous how close we are to level 30 right now. I'm going to kill this spider. This will definitely get us there. Fantastic. Uh, don't really want to do too much with the creeper there, but we have made it to level 30. So I'm going to go quickly, go to sleep, and then we can go and enchant that helmet up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that respiration enchant. It's a shame it's only respiration by itself, but that will do. We now have ourselves our full set of diamond armor with these boots that we can combine. So the cheapest one I can do is nine, and we'll just get those ones on. And there we go. There is our set. I'll just take off this iron set, discard that one. I'll actually probably get an armor set armor stand for these guys so I set it up in the starter house just to kind of show that that is what we wore for the start of this world and it allowed us to survive until this point I think that's gonna have to do for now today has been quite a nice episode we just got ourselves at that little bee sanctuary over here and I think it turned out super fantastic we do of course need to get more bees and I need to get to harvesting these guys so I can make more bee hives but thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it especially because you guys watched all the way to the end and you're seeing me and hearing me talk about all this stuff right now. Thank you guys for watching. My name has been Mopey. Goodbye for now.